Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to do a new upgrade video for the Alma Atelier. Uh, today I'm gonna to do the upgrades of the RPM parts, a front bumper and a rear uh, skid plate. It came just a bit late because I went to a hard bashing run with the Atelier. We had a very high jump, got full frontal on the two shocks, broke the two shafts in the front I did all the replacement I'm gonna fix it but hopefully after I have this front bumper uh, even if I go such a bad landing I will survive it with the front bumper so I'm gonna install both of them right now before I'm gonna do it I'm gonna show you just a bit of an update from my previous uh, upgrade this shock towers what I did is I added this small part, aluminum part, just inside here. One here, one in the back, and I have a screw here to the inside. Yeah. It's a bit tricky to do it. If you really want to, you can do it. Just, just hold it, but it cannot bend. And before I did it, to only prevent it from betting inside, but now cannot bet outside because it really holds on the shock towers. Okay, so that's about it from the last upgrade. Now let's start with the upgrades of today's video. I'm gonna start with a simple one, the rear skid plate. Get here a set of decals and the screws. Not sure I'm going to use longer screws. Most of this upgrade are meant for the Kraton and the XAT, but I'm going to use it on the Italian. Hopefully it will be okay. Maybe I don't have a choice. I will cut it a bit shorter. Let's start with the rear one. So this goes right here. On top of it, yeah, I need to take the screws before it can get inside. Perfect. If you use electric driller, make sure don't do it too fast. Because if you do it too fast, you might hurt the plastic parts, especially when it goes in. Now it sits perfectly. This screw is a lot longer. Not sure you need to use it. Seems to have enough. I usually do the last tightening by hand to really feel how much force you need. So that's it. Your wrist kit plate, very easy. Take four screws out, put it in, put the four screws in. It's a lot cheaper than replacing the whole uh, rear, the whole bottom chassis, as you can see, already did some scratch on it. So, not the front one. It also comes with a set of screws. It's a nice decal. Maybe I will add it. Okay. This will go here, same way. I need this to connect the screws.
all the screws here are two and a half. That's it. Spread it. Okay guys, I'm all set, uh, did the front RPM bumper, as you can see it's very nice, very hard plastic, seems to be very well built, and the rear skid plate, that's it for now, thank you for watching, hope this helps you, and i see you guys next time.